Hi, you're watching Marie Claire's basic training series and this is on how to fill in eyebrows. I'm Madeline Spencer, Marie Claire's beauty writer, and I'm going to show you how to fill in any sparse bits in your eyebrows or just make them look a little bit fuller without looking overly done or unnatural. First thing is to choose the product you're going to use. Powders are brilliant if you're pretty happy with your brows already and you're just trying to add a little bit of bulk and just make them look a little bit beefier where they maybe look a little fine and things like that. The second lot are the pens. Now I'm using Suku's and this is slightly greeny but it works because you don't want your eyebrow pen to be too warm looking, you want to have it in a cooler shade. And these are perfect if you've really lost quite a lot of bulk in your brows or you over pluck them when you were younger or perhaps you've had chemotherapy and you've lost them because they're very fine and they really, really mimic hair. Plus they're waterproof so they won't come off if you sweat or go for a swim. The final category are pencils. Now these come in such a huge variety that really it's up to you to go and test them and see what works for you. But make sure you choose it in a cooler shade, nothing too ready or nothing warm. So the best place to start when you're filling in your brows is actually at the top bit, at the peak. And you want to brush your brows down, and I'm doing this with Lizelle's slanted brush which has a lovely spoolie at the end. So brush your brows down and then look at the top and where you'd like it to be and decide if you'd like the point to be slightly higher, in which case you can draw on some hairs. Like everyone in the 90s, I overplucked my brows massively, so I can't just fill the top bit, though if you're a little bit younger than I am, maybe you can and don't overdo it, just stick to that bit. But I'm going to go into the bit that's right on the inner corner and just where my brows have struggled to grow back, I'm just going to put in hairs so that they look a little bit thicker. You don't have to do this bit at all, just stick to one product if that suits you, but my brows feel like they still need a bit of work, so I'm going to take the Balancing Suku Eyebrow Powder, work my Lizelle brush, slanted brush into it, and again, brush it through as if I were mimicking hair growth and just get them a little bit lush and a little bit fatter. Finally, set your eyebrows. So I'm just going to brush it through my brows in little strokes so that it doesn't go too high above the top line of my brows because I don't want to get it on my skin, I want it to be in my brows. And then I'm running through it with a clean spoolie to make sure it's evenly distributed and that all the brows are sitting where I want them to be. Once this is set, it's set and your eyebrows are staying there all day. So there you have it, slightly beefier but still very natural looking eyebrows. Head over to the Marie Claire website for more basic training videos.